You ready? Yes, let's go. So we're actually meeting a friend this morning up on Lookout Mountain here in Chattanooga. This is a neighborhood called Fairland, but let's be real, it's spelled Fairyland. And look at this, look. So all of the streets here have different like fairy tale names. So this is Aladdin Road, there's like Peter Pan Trail, there's Tinkerbell Avenue, you know, Sarah says there's not Tinkerbell Avenue, but. I can't place it. There's Robin Hood, Cinderella. I used to want to live on Cinderella. That was like one of my dreams. <laughs> so How cool would that be? Like one, two, three, Cinderella Avenue. <laughs> We're so on top of Lookout Mountain. We're actually on the Georgia side. Lookout Mountain goes Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, but it's very little's in Tennessee, even though we're from Chattanooga. So we're in Georgia. And on the Georgia side is Rock City, which you've probably heard of before. How would you explain Rock City? They say you can see seven states from there. I don't know what seven states. You can even see on the western side of the mountain to see Alabama. Anyway, pet peeve. But Rock City's up here, and so it's kind of like, um, I don't know, you weave in and out of the rocks, and it's sort of like a garden, and beautiful overlook over the east brow of Lookout Mountain, which is really nice. And then just a couple miles up the street, you've got Point Park, which is actually part of the National Park. It's part of the Chickamauga Chattanooga National Military Park, so it's like Civil War history. The inclines up there, and then Ruby Falls, right? Is that all? And hang gliding. So oh, hang gliding. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen our hang gliding video, that was such a fun experience. We did that back in June or July. Um, we'll link the video down below, but hang gliding, the hang biggest hang gliding school in the country on Lookout Mountain. So it's a fun little neighborhood. It's a very, um, Lookout Mountain's my personal favorite. Chattanooga has lots of different little mountains, but Lookout's my favorite. So the trails up here are really great. Um, and then today is a place I've always wanted to go and I've never gotten to go. It's by, um, it's not lottery, but you have to have a permit to go in, so they only open it up to the public every other weekend throughout the year. And when we've tried to get in there, we aren't very good at planning, but it's always booked weeks out. Like, I mean, I think the next available day is like six weeks out right now. Um, and we don't plan that well, so we've never done it. But today we're gonna go see a place I've always wanted to see on Lookout Mountain. Before we head off, I wanna know, if you could live on any fairy tale road, what would you live on? <laughs> Fairyland Road. <laughs> Fairy it's called Fairy. It looks like it's pronounced. It looks like it's spelled Fairyland, but everybody here goes Fairyland. I don't know. Or, if just or like, oh, it should be Fairyland. 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 <laughs> I would choose Peter Pan. Peter Pan. I do love Peter Pan. Can you watch Peter Pan tonight? Friday night, date night, Peter Pan night. All right, let's go. <laughs> there go. Wood nymph. I'm still out here tonight. We're off to Lulu Lake Land Trust with our fellow van life friend, Matt. He knows this place like the back of his hand and wanted to show us around. It's beautiful. So Lulu Lake is on the east brow of the mountain. So coming up here at sunrise is, well it's past sunrise now, but it's beautiful. This is incredible. I cannot believe I lived here for my whole life and never, never came here until now. This is beautiful. I don't think beautiful covers it. I'm We have, we have tried to come out here, but we're awful planners. <laughs> and you know, by the time we think, we're like, oh, this sounds like a good idea, let's go out here. All the permits, everything's just reserved. It's not one of those land trusts where 
they don't want to share it with people. They actually really want to share Lula Lake with people. But that costs money. They don't have full-time staff, or they think they have one person that's full-time staff. They don't have enough staff to make it possible where people can come out here all the time. And they want to keep the land safe, which is completely understandable. It's a beautiful place. They said when they first got it, it was, oh, thorns. Eek. Ouch. Ugh. Stuck. <laughs> But anyway, um, so they said when they first, the person first purchased the land years ago, it was just junked up. It was so junked up. They said they found cars in the lake. So there were cars in the lake. They had to pull the cars out and they've just cleaned it up. This place is just, it's incredibly clean. I mean, it's so well taken care of, um, but it takes a lot of money to make that possible. So when you come, it's only open, the open gate days are the first and last weekends of the month. And you have to buy your pass online. We'll put the cost down below, all the information. So if you wanna come here, you've gotta reserve your spot. I looked as we were coming in here today, the next available spot isn't until like mid April right now. So it's booked out for the rest of March and part of April. If you're unlike us and you know where you're gonna be and you wanna come here, we cannot recommend it enough. I'm bummed that we don't have longer here today. It's a Friday, so we have to get some work done and that kind of stuff today but we'll definitely be back. I, I, can, I can guarantee it. It's so close to our house too, which is really nice. We're the only people out here right now, except for Matt. Our friend Matt is trail running while we're out here hiking around a little bit. So we may see him again. It's really slippery. Better safe than sorry. Look who it is. Make sure you don't catch me falling. <laughs> Oh! Bike ride yesterday, last night. I'm <laughs> bye. Hey, I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's go. Kramer first. Now before we pick up Kramer, we need to tell you something. Something happened to him. What happened to you, dog? Kramer, show off your haircut. It's kind of embarrassing taking him in public. We are getting brunch at the Daily Ration. It's in the North Shore neighborhood of Chattanooga. Um, so we're gonna eat some breakfasty brunch. I don't, what did I order? I ordered like a veggie bowl, so I guess it's more lunchy than breakfast, I think. Kramer's being so loud, I gave Kramer a bully stick and he does not shoot with his mouth closed. He's causing a scene. Hey Kramer.
for more adventures on the road and in our new home. Be sure to follow along on Instagram and like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us. Crime where your hair, your ears are wider than your head is.